And let's get ready for our first bit of action. Oh, Florida, host of this episode, Dynasty Wrestling World. Introducing first. This time, Sugar Bowl Ball and Jason Work first. She is the Dice Wrestling Women's World Champion, Layla Cyrus. This match is non title. And her opponent. She is Miss Wrestling. Samantha Taylor. Everyone will fight everyone in the block. 
winners of both clocks to face each other at a later date.
have the sleeper in Here's your winner in 19 minutes, 4 seconds, Samantha Taylor. What a match. Samantha Taylor gets the win. Over Layla Siren, the women's champion. I'm sick of all these talking downs. You respect me when I take this crown. I'm gonna be the one who takes you under. I'm gonna be the one who makes you hurt. I can't help it. Layla Siren, unable to beat Samantha. Samantha able to pull out a win over the women's world champion. What a match. On to our next contest. Everyone wants to make fun of the fact. Everyone wants to make fun of the fact that I'm bald now. So that it's like easy prey. Well, guess what? I beat the league. Because he kept focusing on taking guess. But now I get to face Johnny Gallius for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Johnny! What are you going to do? Underestimate me because I'm bald now? No, that's not how this is going to work. You're going to make fun of the fact that I had to shave my head in order to make weight? Hell no. See, I'm beating you for that Junior Heavyweight Championship because I have skill. I can wrestle. And I'm gonna prove it, it's not a fluke. Contest. This contest is scheduled for fall, introducing Ferris, representing the Blood Brothers. He is the Yakuza head, Amaya Suzuki. He is the number one contender for the Dance Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship 001, Nate Culver. Matthew wants him to have a very challenging opponent, main event level opponent before his shot at the World Heavyweight title. Matthew Hilton wants Nate Culver to have a main event level opponent before he goes one on one with Hilton for the World Heavyweight Championship. Nate Culver has to prove himself. He became a world contender in a Rumble match. 
entry number 20. Being the last guy in that 20 man rumble match. At Dynasty Football, we're going to go out more. Travis doesn't think he earned it. He told him he earned it. He doesn't think that. We're going to find out right now if Colder is earned it. Right now, Nate Colbert has yet to wrestle for the World Boy Championship. He's always been junior heavyweight level. He's always challenged for that belt. He has never challenged for anything other than that. I punched his stomach. Made him in. Okay, he put thumbtacks in the mouth. He just kicked it. Oh, uh, the inside of Nate Colbert's mouth is bleeding. As a my student, he kicked the thumbtack out of his mouth. Both make the lie. That's a great shot. My student, the former world heavyweight champion. Only held it for a month, for like three weeks, but he still held it now. There's a very flash. And a DDT. Take it up, man. There's a drop kick. Think over. There's a drop kick again. Think over. Think the roll of Maya. Maya drop kick to the outside. Right on our stage, but he got right back in. He did that in the ring. You could get carpet burn on that stage. If there's a brain buster from Amaya, it ain't over. Coming to Kingdom back in action. Against Chaos, player back in True Boys of Men's the Global Japan Universe Championship against Haku. Critical last take on Gordon Rosa. That'll be active today. There's an elbow drop from Nate Over. Over. Fujiwara. There's a DDT. It looks like Rod kick by a piece of paper. He went from Maya Suzuki. Over. One, two. I pick up a big one, no. That's 
steal a big one. Wait a minute. I have three of low punch. Here's your winner in 17 minutes, 11 seconds, Amaya Suzuki. Amaya. Able to pick up the victory over the number one contender. I don't know if Nate Colbert couldn't pick up the win here. I don't think he's ready for the world title. Thanks to this. Second, Matthew Hilton on the screen. From Pensacola Beach, Matthew Hilton on the screen. Wonder what he has to pay. Hey, say you were born for this, that you were a big fish in a small pond moving to an ocean, and I agree with that analysis, but here's the thing, you're moving too fast, you gotta slow down because you're gonna bump into the biggest, baddest fish, that fish ain't gonna be so nice. I've held this World Heavyweight Championship for over 100 days, first person to ever do it. 
and it wasn't easy. You see, I had to fight the biggest, the baddest, and the best to get this belt and to even hold on to it. Adam Batista, James Storm, Thomas Styles, Haku, Adam Albright, all came through and I fought them all. All. Let me remind you where you are, Nate. For the first time, you are challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship. Good job. But can you do it? Can you win the big one when you've been stuck in the mid card your whole career? So, are you ready for what comes next? Are you ready to face me, Nate? I don't think you are. Because no matter what you do, I will not stay down. Like the big fish all on analogy. You've moved into the ocean and you bumped into the baddest there has to offer in that ocean. bumped into the world champion and the world champion the champion eight nights I will not say I will be damned I will be someone not familiar with the main event take everything I've worked for over a few weeks battle of survival battle of wits strength Brute force. But when I drive your head into your own grave, and my arm is raised, still world heavyweight champion, no one's going to be surprised. Because ahead of yourself. You couldn't even beat Amaya Suzuki, another main event level guy, and you want to say you're ready for the main event. No one's going to be surprised if I beat you. Out of all my challengers, I'm expecting this to be very easy. So you're going to have to bring the fight. Otherwise, be prepared for your own demise. Fox pick and mate. Will you be ready? Before we continue, I want to announce every competitor in the Superman tournament. Strong words from Matt Hilton. I want to announce every competitor in this year's Superman tournament. Alright? So... Let me introduce the first two winners of the Superman tournament. Amaya Suzuki, who you just saw, was the winner of the first tournament. And the winner of the second tournament is Thomas Style. Now, without further ado, let me introduce every competitor that will compete in this tournament. So, in the A block, we got... Adam Batista. We got Alex Sabin. We got the aforementioned Amaya Suzuki. Representing AWOL, Cameron Bash. Representing the NDA, Chris Danger. Representing best in the universe, Franco. Representing the Grants, one half of the tag team champions, Johnny Grant, my best friend. The son of Drew Boyd and the Dynasty Wrestling Legacy Champion, Nicholas Boyd. 
representing LAW, the former LAW World Champion, Omar Sabin. And representing Chaos. You know his name. Former World Champion himself, the inaugural RJ Smith. Now representing the B Block. This is where the real fun happens. In the B Block, he's representing LAW Angel Beretta. Also, now representing Best in the Universe, it's Angel Dominguez. Ladies and gentlemen, the former hardcore champion, Darren Dastardly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Global Japan Universal Champion, Drew Boyd. Representing the Brotherhood, the anti-hero, Gavin Saban. He's gentlemen, he's here and he's ready to take over. It's the spirit of vengeance himself, the ghost. Representing Ride or Die, it's Johnny Adrian. Representing Powers of Pain, it's Killer Conan. Representing the Inferno, it's Matthew Storm. And finally, representing the Brotherhood, it's the previous winner, Thomas Styles. Those are all the competitors in this year's Superman tournament. Can't wait for this to get under tournament is. I'm going to announce this. September. 7th will be the first night of the tournament and it will happen every Wednesday and Friday will be a night and will continue until November 4th hopefully I cannot wait for this tournament to get underway let's then let's get into our next match ladies and gentlemen it's time to get into our next contest This part is scheduled for one fall, introduce the first. Representing Chaos, Christopher Law. The chosen one, shit. Jordan Rosa. Eat shit. Bang. All right, baby. Matches 
is underway. Jordan Rosen was left the longest reigning Dojo World Champion. No longer the champion. He lived the longest reigning. They had to pick up a win on the main roster. He thought it was gonna be Steve Sandman because he because he just got here. Boy was he wrong. Ah! George Rosa. Knows he's gonna have to face the best. There's a dragon screw. Alright. That's the dirt. Hang in, you want to go there. Knee stop. 
elbow grab. Elbow grab on Christopher. minutes 22 seconds Jordan Rosa what a victory the collection adding this victory to the collection he calls that collection What a victory. And a handshake at the end. On our next contest. Jordan, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight, Jordan. Best in the universe want another shot at our title. They want their rematch clause, well, they've got it. We've beaten them before. Yeah, it's gonna end the same way it ended last time. I'm staring up at the lights. Us. Holding the belt up. Yeah, Angel, Franco. Be prepared. You guys ain't walking out dying you were packing. Because we're the first father-son duo to be Dynasty World Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Angel. How does it feel knowing that you lost? Your first championship outside the junior heavyweight division. Two of us. 
again. Where does Franco go for food? Well, right back to us. That will knock him down again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for two of the best tag teams in Dynasty history to go at it. This time is good to avoid ball and Jason Ferris. They are the team of RJ Smith and Dan Jupon. They are Chaos! Chaos on their way. And their opponents, the team of Rob King and Braden Torres, the Kingdom. Both teams, two-time tag team champions. Oh. 
little body.
the Castle Crasher. The Shining Wizard in the back of the head of RJ Smith. Oh, RJ is a kick out. What's it gonna take? Six seconds. The kingdom. The kingdom have beaten chaos and have claimed the throne. The kingdom stand tall. Here tonight. What a tag team match. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. The Kingdom still continuing the assault after the match. The match is over. They're still continuing the assault. 
on chaos. And wait a minute, Castle Crash into Andrew time. Oh, wait a minute, they're going for one on RJ. Castle Crash into RJ. Wait, here comes Christopher Lott, who just had a match not too long ago. Christopher Lott. Saving chaos. Christopher Lott trying to fight off the kingdom and it's working to an extent. It's what, what the hell? What the? A masked man just big booted RJ Smith. And wait, no, Christopher Lott. A masked man just big booted RJ. And wait, who is the? Oh my god! What? Zalik! Zalik! What is Zalik doing? I thought the kingdom were his- I thought Chaos were his friends! Then it seems that's not the case! Zalik! Has Christopher Lot up! Say God Express! Zalik has aligned himself with the kingdom. What the hell? What is the meaning of this? Well, it's time to get into our main event. This contest is scheduled for Moonfall, and it is for the Global Japan Universal Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. He is the owner of LAW Haku. He is the Global Japan Universal Champion representing the Wolfpack, the Career Killer, Drew Boyd! Nicholas Boyd for the Dynasty Legacy title. 
That's next week, however. Right now, we just have to focus on hot food. Your boy has successfully defended that belt three times now. Looking to defend it four. Dynasty Wrestling Global Japan Universal Champion. Ten minutes, nine seconds. Drew Boyd. 
Drew Boyd ready for Nicholas. What are the chances of him punting his own? What are the chances of him punting his own son? That way, oh wait, Nicholas is in the ring. Nicholas. Oh wait, Nicholas has a chair. Nicholas going to hit Haku. Hey, wait, wait! Oh my god! Drew Boy just pushed Haku out the way of the chair! And Nicholas just hit his own father with that chair! He didn't mean to! But Drew Boy tried being honorable! Let his opponent walk away on their own accord! Not with an not with a cowardly attack! And Drew suffered for it at the hands of his own son! That's going to be the main event next week. Speaking of which, thank you for joining us here tonight. We will see you all next week on Dynasty Wrestling World. Where three titles will be on the line. Next week, the World Tag Team Championship will be on the line as the Grand Stake on Best in the Universe. Just signed, Christopher Lott takes on Zalik. Johnny Gallius defends the Junior Heavyweight Championship against Chase Rogers. We got Alice Saban versus Jennifer Bell. And finally, the Dynasty Legacy Championship. Nicholas versus Drew. What a card we have next.